Hello everyone and welcome, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert, and welcome to today's edition of Ace This Recipe. We're hanging out here in beautiful Colorado, and I'm here at my home base Ace, Ace Hardware Highlands Ranch, hanging out today and getting ready to cook for today's uh, truly epic recipe that we're doing. And, and you can tell by the smoke behind me, we're talking all things Traeger today, and we're doing a little beer can chicken. And the cool thing about this recipe, they literally, the coolest part about this recipe is the chicken throne right here. Why do I say that's so cool? Why do I think it's great? Well, I'll tell you what, let's say you're not into beer, right? Maybe you don't like beer and that's okay. You could put any kind of liquid into this throne, really making it Coca-Cola chicken, root beer chicken, uh, ginger ale chicken. You could put a court bouillon in here. You could put chicken broth in here. The beauty of this throne is now I don't have any of the can, any of the liner, any of that ink. I just get pure natural flavor going into my wonderful, wonderful chicken. And we're using a local chicken today, uh, Redbird Farms chicken in Colorado. And we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Odell uh, 90 shilling, which is a great beer as well too. So, hey, if you're looking for today's recipe, Head down below the video, click on the name, and you'll see that little section expand. Uh, there should be a link down there. Allison's got a link set up for you. So you can click, print, and follow along on this recipe. And then while you're scrolling around down below and you're in the comment section, give a shout out to your local ace. Tell us what is your home base ace, the place you shop at for all your barbecue supplies and beyond. And then while you're down there, in the comment section, let us know what can we do to be more helpful? What can we provide you with uh, cooking tips, advice, what would you like to see us make for recipes? Because at the end of the day, these recipes are all about you and making you a legend in the backyard cooking circuit. So I would say we are smoking and set and ready to go. And it's uh, it's time to get rocking and rolling. So thanks for joining us for this edition of Ace This Recipe. All right, we normally do this cool thing called a food flyover, but I thought today we'd just do a little food walkthrough and talk a little bit about the ingredients we're using. So we're gonna use a little um, 90 shilling. And really, like I said before, pick the beer that suits your need. I like a nice amber beer to get some flavor into that chicken. Uh, again, we're gonna use the Traeger chicken throat. The really cool thing about this process, right? When you start to cook this beer can chicken, you have that chicken sitting on here. What we're doing is cooking it from the outside. We're getting some wood-fired flavor in there, a beautiful smoke, nice color on the skin, but we're also adding a lot of moisture from the inside. So we're getting a little bit of steam that comes up through that chicken. So keep in mind, whatever liquid you put in here is gonna add some flavor into that bird. So I try to stay away from dark beers or bitter beers. Uh, I like a little bit sweeter uh, beer that really adds a good, well-rounded flavor to it. Uh, and again, makes a wonderful chicken like I said. Uh, we're just picking a, an all natural, nice young roaster, uh, clean label. We don't want a chicken that has any uh, sodium or, or uh, in, uh, solutions or injections. We're just going with a good, clean, solid chicken. We're gonna uh, mix it up today. We're gonna do a little tiki tiki rub. So we're gonna do a little island style beer can chicken, right? This is gonna give it a nice sweet uh, and heat kind of finish to it. And the great thing is we're gonna go ahead and season the outside and the inside of the cavity as well. We'll drizzle a little bit of oil on the outside, uh, get that all rubbed on there and season the outside, a little bit inside the cavity as well, making for a really fantastically flavorful dish. Then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of fire honey, just to add a little bit of heat to the finish, give you a little bit of sweet as well. But that is it, that is a super simple and super easy recipe. We're literally talking a rub, a beer, a chicken throne, and a chicken, onto the Traeger. So we're gonna show you how to get the Traeger started up next. Uh, we're talking all things reserve pellets, and then it's time to come back and get this guy prepped and get it in the smoker. We are talking today's recipe literally from prep to stomach in about 80 to 90 minutes. That is super cool. And if you wanna do a little collaboration session, this is something you could do early in the morning, get the probe loaded, get it all set. Uh, your wife, your husband, your partner, anybody could add it to the Traeger later. And that way when you get home, dinner is ready and waiting for you at the table when the time is right. So let's get rolling. We wanted to get a really good, well-rounded flavor. So we're going with our Ace Exclusive Reserve Blend pellets. And what I love about this blend of oak, cherry, and apple, like I said, totally fantastic and well-rounded flavor for us. These pellets perform solidly. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the Traeger on to 350, and we're gonna let this preheat with the lid closed and get all set and ready for our beer can chicken. The prep for this recipe is really easy as well. First thing we did is we took the chicken out of the package. We're gonna trim just a tiny bit right here, make sure we have a little bit of the fat. We're next going to tuck the wings back and we will tuck the wings back. We are cooking with a uh, three and a half pound chicken. And I know the recipe says two and a half, 
um, we weren't able to find any small ones. So we went with a little bit bigger today. Uh, and I'll put a towel down here, make sure I get that to drain out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna truss these legs up. So I had a little bit of butcher's twine. And the cool thing about um, butcher's twine, yes, we sell it in the housewares department at Ace Hardware, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this guy around here a little bit. And we will tie it around the other side here as well. Get that all tied up. And now, like that, and get that knotted. And we're set, and we'll trim this extra string off, uh, butcher's twine off, just so it's not hanging out. Now, this guy's all set and ready to go. We're gonna take the beer, we're gonna fill this about three quarters of the way, which is gonna bring it uh, right to the bottom of the flute. So as the bottom kind of flutes and comes up, we're gonna pour it right to the bottom of there. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is, get this guy all set to the side here, just gonna grab a little bit of oil, right? We're gonna rub that oil on the outside of the skin on both sides there, okay? We get that all set. All we're doing with the oil really is just trying to find a way to help that rub kind of stick um, to the uh, chicken, right? So we'll switch our gloves here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of that tiki tiki and we're gonna get into that cavity, right? I'm gonna get, open that up a little bit and we'll sprinkle a little bit in there. What I like to do is kind of roll that around so I know it sticks. Now, backside, we're gonna get a little bit on the backside. All right, give it a nice little pat to make it stick. And again, I think one of the things you know about our videos and recipes is season as light or as heavy as you want. Take into account some of the seasonings probably gonna drip off or wash off just a little bit while that chicken fat does its thing. So I'm gonna go just a tiny bit heavier on there, right? All right, now that is all seasoned and ready to go. We're gonna let it sit for just a couple minutes so that that rub really has a chance to adhere and do what we need it to do, correct? Then. Let's get that thrown back here. And now what I'm gonna do is get this all set and ready to go. So we let it sit. We have that rub stuck to it beautifully. What we're gonna do now is get that thrown onto the chicken or the chicken onto the throne, just like that. And that's what we're looking for. To see that nice fit, it sits on there perfectly. Then what I'll do is take a little bit of that rub that's left over here on the board and we'll get some of that up top. So that is it. How is that for fast and easy prep, right? Totally perfect. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to load this. We'll get this loaded on the Traeger and we'll show you where to put the probe. That's right. We're gonna use the iGrill 2 today. I like the iGrill 2 because I can track it on my phone so I don't have to go out and continually open the Traeger. So we'll see you over at the grill. Very, very carefully, we carry this guy from our prep table over to the Traeger. Now, we have the Traeger preheated to 350 degrees. If you want to add some smoke to this ahead of time, what I would do, my suggestion would be, start off at 180 degrees and maybe smoke this for 30 to 45 minutes just to impart some smoke flavor. Then, leaving it closed, turn it up to 350 and start the roasting process, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I have my iGrow probe already set. I'm gonna go into the thickest part of the breast of the chicken and that's where I'm gonna make sure I start tracking the doneness, okay? So we get that loaded in there and now we'll go ahead and shut the lid. We are at 350 degrees. We are at 92 degrees and let's take a quick look here and just kind of see where we're at. We're already starting to get a really nice sear on that chicken, which is what we're looking for. Now, keep in mind, we're just gonna show you this real quick. All of that moisture is coming up out of the chicken throne. And when you saw the chicken throne, it had some holes on the top too. What's cool about that is that steam will escape out the side of the holes and also up the chicken throne. So we'll shut this really quick, but we are doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing here on the Traeger. Getting a nice little bit of drip out of there. We're gonna shut it and now we're gonna cook it until we hit 160 degrees. Then we'll go ahead and pull it and we'll let it rest to 165. We just hit that 160 degree mark and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it at 160 degrees because I want this to actually carry over and finish to that 165 mark. Uh, I feel like if I bring it to 165 degrees and pull it, it's gonna carry over into that 172, 73 degree range. So I'm really looking for it to finish right at that 165. 
So literally, like I said, from prep to stomach, right? From the start of this recipe to actually the done and ready to eat, we took 80 minutes. Uh, that is pretty awesome. We let that rub sit on there for just a little bit. We used our Tiki Tiki rub. Uh, we used the reserve blend pellets on the Traeger. Got just an absolutely fantastic um, amount of smoke and an amount of flavor on there. And now this is our done product. We pulled it at 160 degrees. We let it carry over. This guy carried over to uh, 167 degrees, which is fantastic and perfect. Now the cool thing is I can do whatever I want with this. Um, I can uh, cut it, I can shred it, I can do whatever. I am a strong believer that I love to uh, cook once, eat twice. So I may actually do two beer can chickens and I have one for dinner tonight. And then I have one that I can pull and shred for a little bit of leftovers. Like tomorrow you can have some uh, uh, street tacos or you can use it in a sandwich. Uh, just always find ways to kind of be efficient when I cook to really give me that opportunity to, like I said, to cook once, eat twice. So uh, where can you find this recipe? Head down to that recipe name down below. Click on that, that will expand that whole section. Allison has a link down there for you to grab this recipe so you can click it, print it, and follow along as well. Like I said, while you're down there, hey, spread the word, tell all your friends that we've got this cool thing coming at you every Thursday called Ace This Recipe. Head down there, click on the notifications, subscribe to this YouTube channel, spread the word, scream it from the rooftops, let everybody know, and then in the comment section, hey, tell us what we can do to help you become the legend in your neighborhood when it comes to all things barbecuing and grilling. So I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert. Thank you so much for hanging out and cooking with us today on this edition of Ace This Recipe. We will see you next week for another cool recipe live from our local Ace Hardware.